Yes, now we discuss about the thinner space. In previous lecture, you have seen the mid power space here. This is mid power space, this is medial power septum, this is intermediate power septum. And here, there is proximal transverse crease. This is distal transverse crease. This is proximal transverse crease. This is again, this is triangular space present in lateral part of the hollow of the pump. Its extension is proximally up to distal margin of flexor retinaculum, distally up to distal, up to proximal palmar crease. This is proximal palmar crease. This is distal palmar crease. So, this is proximal palmar crease from here to here. This is thinner space. This thinner space may communicate here with mid palmar space here and it may communicate with space of perona proximally and distally it may communicate with first lumbrical canal this is lumbrical canal first lumbrical boundary of this anteriorly this in this diagram this space is this here is This space, this, this space is thinner space. Anterior boundary, it is bounded by palmar aponeurosis, long flexor tendon of index finger, that is flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, and first lumbrical. These structures form the anterior boundary. And medial boundary, medial boundary is formed by intermediate palmar septum. This is intermediate palmar septum. And lateral boundary is formed by lateral palmar septum and also tendon of flexor pollicis longus. So these are boundary of the this thinner space. If this space is infected then pus can be drained by making incision over the first bed space and posterior aspect here. So this is all about the thinner space. Thank you.